Bean and Bailey here. I'm Bradley Bean, a native of Morristown, my good friend Jackson. Jackson Bailey. That's right. Tell them where we are, Jackson. <laughs> We're at a special place today. We're at a tavern, and a tavern's not that special, but this tavern was owned by the father of Davy Crotchet. That's, a, That's big news. Crockett. That's Crockett. Okay, don't Another mess. Don't name. Mess. It's Crockett. Have you not heard the song? We've all heard the song. Born on a mountaintop in Tennessee. Clean estate in the land of the free. Davy! Not yet. Lived in the woods so we knew every tree. Killed him a bear when he was only three. Now, Davy! Davy Crotchet! King of the wild Quit frontier. Quit Crotchet! It's the man's name. Where did you what get you this word, Crotchet? It's called a book. A history book. You open what? it and how read do, it. How do you spell Crotchet? C-R-O-C-H-E-T. You just spelled crochet. Now you're trying to tell me he was French? No, I'm, I don't think so. I'm telling you, you don't know what you're talking about. I know the man's name and I've read the... Okay, maybe it is spelled Crockett. Crockett, yeah. At any rate, he was a very important man in our history. That's right. Now, Davy Crockett was... Ain't a little strange. I mean, he wore a, wore a coonskin hat. You don't see that a lot. Okay. You tell now, them a little bit about Davy Crockett. That's right. Well, Davy Crockett's family moved here in Davy's teen years, and Davy's dad struggled with debt for, for most of his adult life, and so... And Davy Crockett tried his best. I mean, he would go out and hunt bears and put it on YouTube, trying to get popular so that they would get a lot of hits and so that they would get money, but that never worked. He just never got any videos to go viral. Okay, so Davy would do odd jobs to help his dad, but his dad's really first successful business was right here, this tavern. Selling uh, booze. The, okay, so, uh, so Davy lived here for several years during his early teen years before the family, uh, I'm not sure why, but uh, they moved to, to Middle Tennessee after they lived here. And so um, the tavern was put right in this spot because uh, 11E um, wasn't called that at the time. It was called... Uh, the road from Knoxville to Abingdon, and this was the main road that wow. went went from Knoxville all the way to Washington D.C. And this was the the major stop uh, between Knoxville and Abingdon, and so got a lot of traffic through here. A lot of people uh, stayed here. It served also as an inn and a tavern. A lot easier to say 11E. It is. And if so, you stop here, uh, you can get a free brochure. I've already picked one up. It was free. And uh, you Nobody can do the same will thing. say, hey, pay for that. Yeah, because it says on it, free brochures. And uh, apparently they're open Tuesdays and Saturdays. Tuesday through Saturday. Well, it just says Tuesday and Saturday. Well, the dash yeah. means through. Oh, okay. well, that's even better. It's open All Tuesdays right. through Saturdays Tell them what from month. 11 to 5. It opens uh, in May and closes, uh, I guess, in October or after October because it's open May dash October. Through October. Okay. You're, you're catching on. Look at that. You know, Davy Crockett was a frontiersman, but he was also a congressman. Yep. And a volunteer fireman. No, just a volunteer. Did it all. Just a volunteer in general. Which is where we get Tennessee volunteers. That's right. When you think of the ultimate Tennessee volunteer, you got to be thinking about Davy Crockett. That's right. He went down to the Alamo, gave his life for the sake of freedom. And you may remember last year, right here in Morristown, was the 175th anniversary of the Battle of the Alamo. Wow. And at our uh, Liberty Bell replica, Jackson, I'll have to show they you. They rang that. it, right? They rang the bell. It's big. It wouldn't be like this. It would be like this. They rang uh, the Liberty Bell 32 times in memory of the 32 Tennessee volunteers who gave their lives at the Alamo. Now that's pretty neat history right here in Morristown. So stop by the Crockett Tavern anytime, May through October, and learn a little bit about the history of East Tennessee. Or learn a lot. Uh, it just depends on how much you want to pay attention. <laughs> We're going to go on in. 
Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. Go get him, Davy! And uh, apparently not only did they sell booze, but they dabbled in pot. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It's a major pot. Oh. <laughs>